looking the way they want, I'd have a road tax. So we decided not to stay in that particular spot at Kirtland Bay because um, when we got out to get in the back, there was a toilet waste everywhere. I'm going to have to go because I'm having a fight. Show in the world. Morning. I'm going for a wander into Hull to hopefully see. I say four of the grandbabies, but it'll be five because one of them will be in the car that was picking me up. So I hopefully get to see four of the grandbabies. Definitely two. If I get to the, see the other two, that'd be nice, but it's what it is. Hopefully. So I'm going to take you with me to see them all. See you in a bit. So I'm on. I don't even know what this estate's called. Built and I think. Oh great. Well, wherever Katie lives, I'm on that estate. I've got dropped off by the lovely Rebecca. Thank you very much. I'll go see if they can see the kids. I'm excited. I haven't seen them in ages. So these ones aren't anyway. <laughs> Catch you in a bit, guys. With With Lily! <laughs> I like him bouncing! So I haven't vlogged much up to this point. I've had a lovely few hours with the four grandbabies. Um, two of them can't be on camera so I haven't vlogged much. I'm going to spin this way because she's about to walk in front of me and I don't want to pick her up. So yes, it's been lovely today to see Freddie and Rose. Me, I've not seen them in a long time. And Lily and Tegan. I've seen them. Um, I'm going to have a walk to Poundland in a minute and I'll take you with me. I'm going to have to go because I'm having a fight. <laughs> hey, hey Kim's, Kim's on tour and YouTube, YouTube family. family. If you're loving the content, here's a quick reminder to hit that subscribe button and leave a comment. Your support means the world to us. One sleeping baby. Lily, wave. Say hiya. Hiya. So we're going to the shop. We're just going to have a mooch to Poundland and see what's in there. What? Grandma don't speak toddler anymore, mate. It's yeah. <laughs> I've no clue what she's saying. <laughs> oh, oh, I think she's picking a flower. Are you picking a flower, Lily? <laughs> Let's have a look. Ah, oh, that's beautiful. I think you like dandelions, don't you, Lil? Look how excited she is to go in pound stretcher. She's almost as excited as me. <laughs> it's not a car, it's a trolley. Oh, yeah. Oh, I might have another match of her. Oh, they're on eight quid. Yeah, throw them in. Let's see what I can find in Pamela. While I'm here, I'm going to get some oven bright and clean my oven. I think. I think I'm going to get the oven pride. I know that works. So then get up and clean my oven. I'm going to get some clean surface wipes as well because I need to get... Do you know where your um, blinds go? I need to clean in all them. So I'm going to get some wipes for them and figure out why this child's crying. <laughs> and then I can clean my windows after I've done that. I've got cleaner at home for them. But I do need some kitchen roll, so I'll get some of that and all. While I'm here, I'm just going to look for some floor wipes and pull up the carpets in the back and do all my floors. <laughs> Could I have a right cleaning spray coming up, people? Keep tuned for that. Yeah. Yeah, Lily said keep tuned and show me ball. <laughs> look what someone's done in um, Poundland. I swear to God it won't be. We're walking on the wall, look. Mission complete. Well, guess what happened to me for a change? But look who's awake, people. Hello, sleepy baby. Hello, give us a smile. Say, she might have mouth, yeah. Give us a smile. She's like, no thanks. Well, right, I'm going to go back to Casey's. Wait for my lift home. <laughs> Show everybody what the grandma teacher. Yeah. Ta then. Casey's filming. So I've been picked up by the son and his girlfriend, Jake and Rebecca, the chauffeurs. And look at baby Grace having a nap. Just gonna get Gareth in Indian on way home. Because I'm a nice wife. <laughs> I'm up early today, 
I've just been sorting out my uh, magnet fishing. I've just made it a little winder look out of an old kitchen roll holder because <laughs> it was all tangled. Well, not on properly, so it can go back in its box. Nice and neat. So, get us to sleep. I'm going to try and pot about because I want to go away today. I'm going to go somewhere that I can use my fishing magnet. Just a couple of days. Anywhere I'll do. But yeah, so um, I've got washing and everything to do. But I can do that while I'm on the road. So I'm going to clean up. And when he's awake, I'm going to get moving. He might get an actual vlog. <laughs> We're up and moving. I'm just packing down. I've got a few things to sort, but I'm definitely moving today. First stop will be the laundrette for some washing. I don't know honestly where I'm going after that, but I'm going. I just need to feel like I'm moving, I think. You know, I mean, just feel a bit meh. I just want to be on the road. So I was got off was like oh you've been a bit but i just want to be moving and he went oh there's no reason we're not and i was like hey you're right you, we haven't got hospital appointments for a little bit neither of us i mean this work but we don't need to work so i was like let's go <laughs> well i'm ready to go <laughs> can i seem thrilled about it hello to the subscribers from scotland that came to see us um can you remember them guys' names we're terrible at names i do apologize jock and the witch <laughs> So we're going to come to Fife and see us anyway. She knows what I mean. So, um, yeah. So Gareth's dragging his feet. <laughs> I don't think he wants to go. Yeah, Jock and the Witch. So I'll put a clip up now of the witch. <laughs> <laughs> Only kidding, yeah. Yeah, there was, it was lovely. Lovely to meet you guys. Um, yeah, so Gareth's dragging his feet. I don't think he wants to go away with me. Getting dressed and changed and... You're rushing me because you want to go somewhere. I need to go to Laundrette first before we go now. First stop, Hornsey. <laughs> See you in a minute. First stop was Laundrette. So, if my cousin... Well, my cousin won't remember. But, well, our Sharon will. Sharon might not. So, that's where my granddad had his caravan in Hornsey. That's where my washing's doing. I've come to reminisce my youth. My granddad had a caravan just up there, look. And it was called Holmes in Portland Campsite. Don't know what it's called now. And we used to come down here. Do you remember? My sister and my brothers. Well, my sister and my elder brothers, I remember. We used to come down here. And we go to them steps there and we go on to the beach. Do you all remember? Love it. I mean, I'm only around the corner, but I'm at least on my way. I don't know where we're going yet. I'll let you know shortly, I'm going to have a look. I've got an hour to wait for my washing to do. So in that hour I'm going to make us a sandwich and I'm going to look for somewhere. I don't know where we're going, I just know we're going. <laughs> I'll wash it up and then just go. <laughs> and I'll sort me washing out whenever I get wherever I'm going. Do you know where we're going yet? Yeah. We're just gonna drive. Oh, you know where you're going? Have you picked somewhere? Yeah. Are you telling us or is it gonna be a surprise? I don't want to get there. All oh, right, okay. So you don't know then. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'll let you know when we get where we're going. Because we're going on holiday. Oh, donuts. You like the dumpling ones, don't you? Fuel them. Ninety-two pound thirty-four. Pro fuel card. I saved a tenner. Oh, I never thought of that. Who's the donut now? So uh, we've pulled into Kate and Bay. We've done parts here, have we? No. Thought we'd give it a go. He's just rubbing his belly. He's got indigestion from yeah, his um, got heartburn. He's got heartburn from his Dunkin' Donut. Yeah, what? Well, <laughs> so what are you doing? Are you staying here? I don't know. I don't know what dodgy look. I don't think I, I don't think we was meant to come this far though. Why not? <laughs> Park anywhere I want up here in road tack. I'm just saying, because um, 
Does it feel full timers up here? I think that no, like the locker has been up this end. I don't think. Um, to be fair, um, yeah, seems all right. You could crack your jenny on here if you wanted to. I suppose there's a lot of caravans up this end, isn't there? I don't mind me. Hey, caravan, no, no. Wobble box, whatever you got. Whatever gets you on your holiday, people. So I think, are we staying here for the night then? Yeah. Yeah, come. Cool. We'll do a night at Cape Bay. We're on the way away. Uh, you can't say much, I'd show you a view, but it's a bit foggy. Yeah. Don't know where fog's come from, like, but well, well I do. No. We might show you something if uh, it clears up. If the bit. fog clears up, there's literally no view whatsoever at the moment. You can see it coming over, I know. Yeah, can it's pick it up. rolling. Can you see how foggy it is, people? You might be able to see it coming over. I don't you know. might do. It is foggy. At least we're away. <laughs> I need to get rid of my donut. Too much information. <coughs> Camera! <laughs> so, we decided not to stay in that particular spot at Cape Bay because um, when we got out to get in the back, there's toilet waste everywhere. We have managed to find one on the other opposite side of the road, haven't we? Yeah. Up there, when you first go up, it was okay. There was a few cars parked, but when you go right to the top, we went right to the top where you need to turn around, don't you? And there's, um, are these just, they're all dumping the toilet waste out. What's that about? Disgusting. You tramps, mate. Tramp. Dog shit. Dog shit everywhere. Flies. There was flies, but that's that's because they're dumping the toilet waste. Yeah. Who does that? You scruffy. There's no need ruin it for everybody else. And you know, round corner, four miles away, right, is a proper disposable yeah. and free water yeah all you have to do is drive into Scarborough mate Fight just empty it, it. Yeah, but even Scarborough's only round corner from here really yeah but in finally love there's a toilet block facilities for free dumping free water and free showers oh there you go there's literally no excuse <laughs> four miles away and it's on park for night mm. <coughs> people like that that ruin it for everybody else <coughs> Can I show him a vlog coughing? We're actually on show whether we're staying here full stop. Can I have a look? So while well, he's figuring out whether we're staying, I am going to hang my washing up. Might as well, Anna. We're away. First stop, Kate Bay. So I've got my view for the night. Let me just show you. have a look for some places to go tomorrow and then um, sort my buff out. <coughs> Gareth's just making himself um, a vindaloo with some leftovers. What did you find? I just thought I'd put some taties in my uh, curry. I found a bum. <laughs> <laughs> I found a bum. <laughs> it's a bit smaller than your ass crack love. Oh it could be. Uh, uh, <laughs> too far. <laughs> And it's too foggy. You can see all that road. Moving on in the morning anyway. Um, going further north. If what interesting happens, I'll pick you up later. There's loads and loads of converts and motorhomes up here tonight. I don't think there's any motorhomes. I think they're all convert. Um, or camper vans are they called? Loads of them. It's a cushy little spot to be fair. So yeah. If what interesting happens, I'll pick you up. If not, I'll see you in the morning, guys. What a beautiful morning. I found this park up, guys, on Park for Night. Skinning Grove. You're happy, aren't you? Now this is a view. I'm going to show you. One second. So this is my van. And that's the sea. And I do believe, I am just going to double check that this isn't free park up. It says on Park for Nights it is. But I am going to check for you. Should we have a look? I do believe it's free. £1,000 fine for not picking up your dog shit, but that's standard. 
Can't believe it. So I'm gonna have a walk down there in a bit. And there's the beach. Let me show you the view. There's my van. <laughs> I, I'm well happy with this. Guys, nice. I'm going to take you for a walk around in a little bit. I just wanted to let you know that it's it's definitely free to stay here when I've been looking. There's nothing here though. There's no facilities, guys. So as long as you've got your own toilet shower and make sure you're full with water, you could get away with a couple of days here as well. It, it's really nice. A few dog walkers. It's just lovely. I am going to take you for a walk in a little bit, like I said. There's some old fishing boats. We're just going to go and have a mooch later. I'm just going to wait till a little bit later on so the sun's up, hopefully. And if not, I'll put my hoodie on and take you. Get off, what are you doing? Practicing for this afternoon. Listen, we're not watching the Titan fight if you're going to think you're Rocky Balboa, because then I'm just going to have to chin you. Usak's going to knock it. Fury out. Uh, no chance. Absolutely zero chance whatsoever. Tyson Fury is going to smash him into next week. Don't think so. Yeah. There's always one man harder than yourself. There is. And Usak. He's not the one. He's going to be the one. They're going to batter each other. They're going to drag it out personally. We do get a bit carried away with boxing, don't we? With, yeah, we do. Yeah. With Fury. It might be funny. My prediction is. Fury's going to knock him out in the fourth round. Go on, Fury! And I can't wait to see what Paris is wearing. <laughs> I love Paris Fury. Probably something glamorous. She always looks classy, though. Always. Classy, classy bird. I wonder if he'll let his kids go this time. Of course he will. It's the biggest fight of No, but he only, he only allowed them to go to the last match. Tyson's never allowed his children to watch him box, never. And he allowed the elder two, Venezuela and Tyson Jr., to go to the last yeah. one. The new sack's going to uh, knock Tyson to the floor, straight under the chin. No, yeah. He is, because he's a bit small. Yeah, no, I'm telling you, Fred, uh, Freddy. Tyson's only good at fighting. Fury's going to win. Reach. Fury all the way, Fury's going to win. No chance. Yeah. So, after a bit of Google research, so I don't get it wrong and everybody batters me in the comments. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Tyson Fury hold the WBA, the IBF and the WBO heavyweight titles <laughs> since beating Anthony Joshua in 2021. Right. Usyk holds the WBA super, the IBF and the WBO, the heavyweight titles. Usyk is only the third man to win the crew Cruiserweight and heavyweight titles after Evander Holyfield and David Hay. David Hay was a good boxer. Oh, he, well, yeah, but... he was good on I'm a Celebrity, was David Hay. Usak has never lost a fight, ever. It's about to today. So Usak and Tyson, right, will earn between 100 and £150 million pounds each. Win or lose. I'm guessing the winner will uh, get a bit more, eh? It's all going on the views on the pay-per-view. That's a lot of money, Why isn't don't it? you fight Tyson and get £100 million? I will. I, I offered him out once, but I called him a right sausage on Facebook and he didn't, he didn't want to bat fight me. I wonder why, look. I told him I'd do it for a million. Shock horror that a 50-year-old fat dude, Tyson Fury, don't want to fight. I know. I think it's quite disgusting. Do you know what I mean? I offered, you know, a million pounds to fight me. All I wanted is a million pounds and free hospital food. That's <laughs> all I wanted. Do you know what I mean? The millions that they got out of it. They knocked you out in TV. one bunch. <laughs> yeah, but I'd have got a million quid out of it, wouldn't I? <laughs> Set me up for life, that. So I'm going to make some omelettes. I've got some bacon in the oven. i right, getting it nice and crispy. And I'm going to make an omelette. Cheese and onion omelette. Spring onion, obviously. I prefer spring onions in an omelette. So that's what you're getting for breakfast today, love. I forgot my pin. He's forgot his pin. He needs to sort this so we can watch the fight. Here we go. Look at that. Confirm. And we're ready to watch. Bacon's almost done. Get off some that's cooking nicely. I need a smaller pan. <laughs> so I definitely need a smaller pan. I'll flip it though, don't you worry, people. I'll show you when it's ready. On that and bacon. Cheese and onion omelette and some crispy bacon. That looks nice, good of bread. Yeah, if you'd like some. I'm going to take you for a walk. There's a little boat memorial here, and then there's another memorial 
Well, according to Google Maps, it is. Round the corner, so I'm just going to show you. I'm going to show you the little place we're at. Do a bit of proper vlogging. Got us thrilled by it. <laughs> just wanted to sit in and do an out lazy arse is. Look at this. This is cool. Look at that. That's amazing. What's the bench for? It's quite a nice bench, actually. It's lovely. Really what? The plaque. I wasn't doing that. Yeah. Seeing what it, how comfy it was for tonight. <laughs> What's the bench for? Just call Richard's bench. Ah, that's nice. Gareth says, look at that van. What did you say, love? At least he's got his head down for tonight. You had your parking like that. You'd get out, you'd fall out of bed, wouldn't you? <laughs> yeah. Actually, just round the corner. Public toilets. Three ones, open 24 hours, bit look of it. So that's the pigeon memorial, that's quite cool. That's where they used to send all the carrier pigeons off out to the um to wherever they needed to send them in the war. Um by the way guys, when I said there's a toilet, there's also if you've got a radar key, a disabled toilet as well. So that's good, isn't it? Cleveland Way. Starts from Filey, goes all the way up to Saltburn, and it goes all the way down to Wemsley. Or you could do it opposite way around. It's a walk. 109 miles long. And just down there, love, there's a Look. shop and a pub. Is it? Yeah. Mm. You're not good at pub. And the van's just over there. Yeah. So this Look is a walk this. of 109 miles if you want to do it. Who's walking 109 miles? Look at that one up there as well. You can't come over this bridge in your motorhome unless you're less than three ton, which is not many. Also, you'll see in the footage, I found it hard to talk to you around the pigeon statue because the kid that was stood right behind me is in, in the footage somewhere. I say kid, you want a kid? He's a bloke and he's a bit weird. <laughs> so there's a little boat yard here as well, if you like looking at boats and tractors. Not sure what that is. It's just beautiful around here, people. It is really worth coming to visit. It's lovely. Look how green that water is, it's beautiful. <coughs> and there's my motor up. Still really foggy, as you can see, guys. It's a cracky park up this. Did you know, the firm you get north, the clearer the sea is. You really? Yeah. Brown it all. <laughs> I'm brown. I've got a fact for you. Go on then. Since 1800s, yep. 1848 I think, this town, or little village, I call it a little village because it's only a population of 460. This is where they did the mi mining for the iron. All right. And it got stopped in 1970. Oh, we're not rest at Northern Mines stop then. Probably. Oh, it's really nice here. It'd be nice if it were a clear day. Beautiful if it'd be a clear day. You could easily spend a couple of days here, and them toilets, when I've just checked, are 100% open 24 hours. They're free of charge. Don't abuse it, people. There's a couple of bins around here, that's all there really is. It's beautiful. There's even a little beach on that side. I wanted to bring you on a walk and show you, though. Get some exercise in. Before me and Gareth start scrapping, watching for boxing, Gareth wants uh, you sit to in and I want Fury all the way. Fury! They did a documentary once on this village. Oh, did they? Ten miles away from here is Red Car. And you know what this got voted in Britain? What? One of the toughest villages in the UK. It's not right, there's only 460 people here. They're not shy about coming and standing right next to you to see what you're recording. Yeah. Even the kids. Um, it's not a bad thing though, I think they're just keeping a watch out um, for what those things are coming on. But if you're watching this young man, you don't need to stand right here. Or you could at least talk to me and acknowledge me and then you could have been in my vlog. <laughs> Probably going to be in there anyway because I'm leaving that footage in of the pigeon statue. <laughs> and in 1855, this whole village was underwater. Why? Flooded. Mm -hmm. From the sea? Yeah. Must have been a tidal wave. Yep. Yeah. That's how high the sea has gone back over the, you know, decades. Check you out giving facts to everyone. I did history at school, my dear. I just twagged off and I went for double trampoline, so I can't get you out. <laughs> Look at this poor boat. If Trisha sat in it, 
Because that would be the weight limit and that's... Can you hear you? What? Did you think I'd walked off? Yeah. Look at that poor boat. Thinks it's got your weight limit in it. Think it's got your weight limit in it. This is why there's this many wreckage boats here. These are your reserves. <laughs> you better go over the bridge first off, Holly. Oh yeah, I forgot your way free ton, don't you? That's it, yeah. Weak bridge, you see. Still quite misty, but what a lovely walk it's been. It's been real nice. It's the sound of the wind. And now it's his turn to go with my recording. <laughs> Beautiful here, isn't it? Doing my little video, you know what I mean? I'm trying to get sound at waves and all can hear you. Who's doing the 360 and your <laughs> crocs? I know, I forgot. People, show people what I've got on. I've got to put my trainers on. I've come out in my slipper socks and my crocs. <laughs> Oops. We've only come on a 109 mile walk and she's got her crocs on. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just recording your recording. Yeah. Gareth told me that the um, Usyk and Fury fight was on at 3pm. It's on at 3 o'clock. It's on at 5 past 11 tonight. Yeah, but you get the build up. From 3pm? Yeah. I'm not watching it for nine nine hours, six, seven, eight hours. You're not watching eight hours worth of boxing beforehand. Why? I'm going to watch 911 for a bit. Do what? I'm going to watch 911 for a bit, I think. So you all know what just happened to me, don't you? And if you're new here and you don't know what happened to me, I can't, because I've got bad eyes, I can't see when the battery's running out. <laughs> it just dies on me. <laughs> I know it's going off when it screen goes yellow. <laughs> so, back to what I was saying. You said it was on at 3 o'clock this afternoon, it's on at 11. Build up. Yeah, but I'm not watching 8 hours worth. The first yeah. fight, you don't even start till 6pm. You're really excited. So you want to watch 3 I hours can... of watching an empty ring with nobody even sat in the audience? Not that kind of smashing. This smashing. Oh! See, look. Look, I pulled the hairs on your legs and you cried. I know. So don't think you're hard because we're watching boxing. Well, we're it does the same when we watch Rocky films, right? He thinks he's ten men, and then I have to knock him out. <laughs> <laughs> it's not, it's the wrong Tyson that lot. Does anybody else's husband do that? Watch Rocky films or boxing, and then they think they're hard. And they're, <laughs> they're shadow boxing, we now, and they think they're all for it. And you know for a fact the wet lettuces and they get knocked out in two minutes flat. Anybody else? Let me know in the comments. So we've got a chilled afternoon now. What I might do, right, is edit this video. Oh right. And get it online for them while you watch 911. You could do. Then I've got my earphones on and I can't hear nothing of that crap program. Okay. I need to move my washing if you're doing that because your office is over oh, occupied. <laughs> I'll wait till they're dry then and then I'll do the editing. I'll just move it all to here. Because we haven't had a video up today. It's Saturday, we don't put videos up on the weekend. You can if you want, though. It's your choice. We're away. I think it's because nine times out of ten on the weekend, when he's not been ill, we've been away and we d we're vlogging then, so. But we have got a few hours to go, so I am going to watch 911. Just started season three. I'm loving it. Kimberly, do not cancel your Disney subscription, I'll cry. <laughs> Wait till I've watched all eight seasons of 911, please. Cancel Thanks, it. Ben. Cancel it. Cancel um, it. Can't I'm going to move it. all these round so Gareth can sit in his office and he can do some editing. Because I think there's enough on here for a video. Do you know what I am going to do for you guys? So watch out for the next video because I'm going to record me and Gareth watching the Fury fight and see how many times one of us punches the other. <laughs> Play fighting people, calm down. You did your tongue action again. I don't know why I do it. I've even yeah. asked the doctors, I don't know why I have to do it. They think it's because... You're a goat. Because I've got what they call neuro breath because sometimes... Oh, that's why I'm always brushing my teeth, people. <laughs> you got what? Smelly breath? Neuro breath. You can get, when you have a tumour, a brain tumour, you can get what they call neuro breath. And it makes my mouth quite dry. And they think that's why I'm licking my lips, but I don't know. I'm doing it half the time. Until I see it in the videos with a goat. <laughs> Thanks for that, love. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, if you don't like me licking my lips, don't fucking watch. Bye. Roll up to the greatest show in the world.